idea of putting a value on nature is not new. At the end of the 1880s, a field called economic ornithology appeared. The idea was to put a price on the work that birds did in crops eating bugs. A way of putting a price on what we would now call a service provided by these birds. Now these birds eating away, but technology and the context changed. Chemical pesticides were invented. The service provided by the birds was suddenly of much lower value. Now that's a simple example where we put a price on a service. What's happened now in the neoliberal context is that we've got into a whole system where we insert these values into a market. And also, the kind of service provided is no longer simply eating bugs, but there's a whole level of abstraction which requires enrolling whole systems of knowledge, data on a whole variety of things. If we look at, for example, the service provided by wetlands, in some countries, in the United States, for example, there's been the creation of a market. As I said, neoliberalism relies on this almost magical belief that the market will solve problems. And the creation of a market for wetland mitigation, wetland mitigation banking, as it is called. The idea here is that you're going to create, enroll a whole series of knowledge to describe what wetlands are doing and that you can insert this into a system. In other words, if you destroy a wetland in one place, you'll be able to compensate somewhere else, creating a market for destruction, a market that can somehow evaluate what the functions of these wetlands. Now, the difficulty, of course, here is that one wetland is not the same as another and the value of the ecological uh, services provided may not be equivalent. But in the second case, what we've created is a commodity. We've made wetland into a commodity that can be inserted in a market. So we commodify nature. And then we marketize it, we insert it within a market. This is a very different way of interacting with nature. This is very much what comes from this neoliberal approach. In the next sequence, I'm going to be looking at the extent to which ecological services are part of what has been called this neoliberalization of nature. <laughs>